Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Turn Order Warped, Season 2, Episode Number 1. If mature language is not for you, then you are going to be very offended by what happens on this cast. That's going to be rough. I mean, let's be honest. Let's be honest. How's everybody doing? Welcome back. Welcome back. So, uh, we've come up with several different uh, officer names and some politicians and stuff. Um, is anybody using any of them as contacts beyond uh, Nova? Um, I probably... Is that probably at a disadvantage, by the way, that my one contact is, like, already on the ship? No. Okay. no. Uh, I'd say I would have Petrovich as a contact. Okay. As one of mine. And I'd say I'd probably have... Lomachenko as a contact too. You're a boxer then, definitely. Oh yeah, like that's most of my time on on most of my time on the Arcadia is spent in the fucking in the gym, which is probably like a hollow gym, realistically, but like in the boxing ring. Well, there's an actual gymnasium in there. Oh, is there? Like a physical gymnasium, yeah. When you uh, want to do a match, you can probably run a program to simulate a boxing match in the hollow deck. Or they probably have a boxer bot in there. Definitely. There's yeah, like Rock'em Sock'em robots. There's like a I'd, bunch of different levels. Punch bot. <laughs> I'd like to have Felicia as a contact. Okie doke. <laughs> Mark it down. I'm gonna write close down. I would like no one the contact. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you don't <laughs> literally no. You have no no. Well, yeah. I I am contacted all the time by just people that you guys don't know. So so I feel like. I feel like your character needs to be like, you're the low. I mean, you are private. Like you're a private. I'm probably like, maybe not even a private. No, those like side ranks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Crewman, a, you're crewman. I'm, yeah, because I'm a medic. What so. would my character's rank be? Because I'm not. I don't have an enlisted rank. As well. Yeah, so, my, my my character's just crew as well. Yeah, you're just you're just a crew member. Um, yeah. Engineer second class. Yeah, you're you're like <laughs> All right, Arnold. Uh that must be super offensive to a Borean to be an engineer second class. Eh, not really. Somebody got to do the me. important work. She's uh she's also Somebody's like gotta clean the pipes. She's yeah. she's 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 pretty young. So hmm. uh it's probably just like a you need to go through the paces kind of kind of yeah. thing. One day, one day, we'll be able to touch the big nozzles. Oh, would be great. <laughs> so, um, let's uh, let's get things underway. Let's get the let's get the Arcadia underway. Um, you guys hear like a, a sort of like a, a tone uh, come across the come come across the ship's uh, communications. Um, you hear like a ding. Which is just kind of like the general notification that, uh, like, an important message is uh, about to happen. Um, and um, usually, the the amount of dings signify if it's like uh, just an auditory message or if it's just like a if they have a visual as well. Um, and it's uh, it's the notification that um, that it is a um, a, a video. Um, a video notification. So, uh, whoever's kind of around the ship, um, in your various locations, where are you guys? Let's figure out where everybody is right now, um, on the ship before I say anything about what's going on. Let's figure that out. I know that I would definitely be in the holodeck running one of my programs where I'm beating up old fict fictional boxers from human history. <laughs> So I'm definitely like fighting Rocky Balboa right now in a boxing ring, like at Madison Square Garden. Is it in the middle of like, um, is, so I guess, are we on duty or are we on our off hours? We can assume that you guys uh, are on duty. Okay. I'm in a pipe somewhere, chiseling things off it. If I'm, I'm on in... duty, 
Um, I'm probably taking care of my rifle. Where? The barrel. Is there a little in the armory? Is there like a bench before like the cat, the cupboards and stuff, like where you can oil guns? Yeah, and... absolutely. There's definitely a gun maintenance section. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I'd be in there like pre-armory room doing my my stuff. Okay. There's, I feel like in pretty much like every every major room or area, I mean, there's there's uh, a display or something, um, like for communications and whatnot. There's various screens and such. So you got a bunch of other uh, marine officers uh, that are just kind of like um, joking around and uh, sort of doing like gun maintenance or whatever. You guys are probably just about to start like, probably just about to start a patrol or something uh, around the ship. Um, and this is just like your pre-patrol kind of uh, ritual uh, that you go through, you know, just checking your equipment and stuff before you go out. Um, Betty, uh, you, you probably just have the audio notification uh, go off just for your general uh, communicators. Um, and I feel like you guys probably all have... I feel like the, um, the communicator probably looks like the habitat ring with the different uh, spikes on it that represent, like, each of the races that are involved um, in the Alliance. Can be used as a throwing star in an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> Often sharpened by the Spartan members of the crew. <laughs> yeah. Are you dueling with your communicators again? No. <laughs> yes. And you, like, Wait, you hold it up. You hold it up and, like, touch the tip. It's like, <laughs> like, instantly <laughs> bleeds. <laughs> What have I bloody told you? Uh, yeah, so um, that's probably what the communicator looks like. Um, and it works very similar to the Star Trek ones that you've seen. Um, the uh, the communication will come across. Uh, where are you, uh, Dr. Dick? I am in my lab. Okay. Now, is your lab... Um, are, are, do you, I mean, you, you're you're not exactly the highest like rank, so you have to share your lab uh, for sure with other people. How many uh, wh- how many labs do we have here? We must have loads of labs. Um, not as many as you think. There's probably like different. There's probably like a bio lab, and you know, like um, they're probably specialized. So you you got to share your lab with other people. I'm yeah. got a feeling that Dex got one of those personalities, though, that he says it's his lab and no one argues with him because it's just not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just like that crazy old man kind of thing. Uh, is it like a Pacific any room? lab I go basically, into is my is, lab. I, I, I oh, just... okay. okay, is it like Pacific Room? If you basically like put like tape down the middle of the lab and, and anything that like, you know. No, like social shit like that, I would not give a fuck about. Like uh, that's no, no. Like... The other dude's taped off. You're just like you don't care. He's like, no. This oh yeah, is I don't even know there's a tape there. I need to <laughs> thing over there. You drive him insane, but that's okay. I'm currently working on purely oh. theoretical physics right now. Okay. Fair enough. Um, you're in your lab. Uh, Simon, where are you? Uh, in the sick bay. But I got the lights dimmed down because I don't like it being too bright. Is anybody hearing like a buzz when he talks? Yeah, I heard. Yeah, it. I just started hearing it like know. two or three minutes ago. I was now. just typing about it. No, it's, it's gone. gone. It's gone. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. this weird thing. But if my volume sliders in a certain place, it just causes issues. Like it switches ears and shit. Yeah, but I'm I'm probably in the sick bay with like the lights dimmed like really low. <laughs> um, Setting. I mean, everybody that comes in just keeps turning up the lights. Yeah, I just. Well, I don't confront them, but I wait until they're gone, and then I put them back down again. <laughs> okay. Um, absolutely. Uh, so, the message comes across on the screen, and you can see uh, Captain Ponell, uh, the male Blue Borean uh, captain of the Arcadia. Um, he has the senior officers... Uh, grouped up with him, uh, kind of looking like some kind of photo opportunity for the ship. Just kind of like, uh, here's the brochure for the Arcadia. Um, one of those kinds of photos. Look how diverse we are. Yes. Um, and he's he's standing there um, that has uh, 
a he's standing there like um on the on the command deck on the on the bridge and uh he says welcome ladies gentlemen and androids to the arcadia we will be disembarking soon i thought most of you would like to see because while we are disembarking for many of us it will be the last time to see the soul system. I know there are many humans aboard. At this time, I would like to display your final viewing of the sun. And uh, you can see like the camera just kind of change and you can see like the soul system, our home system. Um, half of it, is black, no stars visible uh, in the sky. Um, and it looks like this blackness is encroaching on the sun. For many of you, this sight will be depressing, but I think it is important for you, for us to move forward. We are reminded today of something that we must confront, of something that, for now, chases us from our homes. But rest assured, our scientists and our higher-ups will be working around the clock to end this threat to our well-being, to end this threat to our homes, and to end this threat to our galaxy. We will be next in line to take the Tachyon Conduit approximately 2,000 light years away from our present location. It is a time for new beginnings. It is a time for growth. We will be finding suitable habitats, suitable planets for us to further our different races, to study the threat, the nothing. Please, rest assured, we will succeed. You have time to get acclimated to your surroundings. It has been two weeks since most of you have boarded the ship. But it is time for us to leave this place now. The new dawn is currently making its way through the Tachyon Conduit. Classification CS-04. Four other colony ships have gone before. I know for many of you, this is the first time you have taken the Tachyon Conduit. But do not worry. Everything is safe. I personally have traveled through several times. With hardly any sterilization. He sort of like looks around. And... I wish you all a safe journey, and we'll see you on the other side. And uh, the screen goes back to like the promo type photo with him and the rest of the crew. And the rest of the crew says, safe journey. There's a splash underneath them. Strength through diversity. <laughs> yeah, it's buzzwords. It's like Jack Donaghy buzzwords. Um <laughs> Synergy. Stronger together. Synergy. <laughs> yeah, there's probably some like sci-fi jingle that plays. Yeah. Our values, integrity, respect, trust. And like there's He's a and, and the buzz is back. Um and the the it, like the video is like the ship like zoomed in at different parts of the ship and it's like pans, like different 
sections of the ship, like going back and forth, like zooming in and out, like seeing all the different components on the ship and whatnot. Um, yeah, and you guys can start to see the nothing um, start to overtake the sun. It's not dramatic. Um, it's not um, overly impressive. It's just starts to get taken away, it looks like. Um, Simon, um, I would like you to make me a will check, please. Okay. Wow, and you got super low on the volume now. Sorry, I didn't turn it up on the way I spoke. You got a 12. Like You're still super low. What the cheese? No, there you I go. Bet no. Okay. Maybe that's the position of your microphone. Anyway, um, the uh, the nothing starts to overtake, and um, I guess like as you're watching this display, you know, from your dark corner of the sick bay, um, you start to like hear this like high pitched whine, like this um, sort of like screeching sound, and it's it's sort of like almost begins to sound like an echo chamber you know like it's just repeating like but like, like different frequencies and it just it sort of it just, it sort of comes off like screaming um in your head um and it's it's just stacking on top of each other um and uh it feels it, it sounds like like someone's being pulled apart or something um and you just kind of clutch your head and uh like start to start to like rock back and forth uh in the corner um in the dark um as this starts to become like overwhelming to you and it just keeps getting louder and louder and louder and um the um the uh the ship um starts to get uh, let go of a, a start to let off a warning basically that uh, Tachyon Conduit Tachyon Conduit is beginning to activate in the next five minutes please find your travel stations immediately um so you've probably gotten this notice. Uh, it's probably automatically powered down the holodeck, uh, Tyke. Um, you probably just get, like, a flash notice that says, like, holodeck powering down. Tachyon conduit opening in five minutes. God damn it. I, just as I'm about to knock out Rocky Balboa, just the whole room goes back. To... Like... <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah. As it's about to, like, hit him right in the jaw, it just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was the knockout punch as well. Oh my god. Pugilist blue balls. <laughs> yeah, I, I grab my towel and just kind of toss PBB. around and uh, just head to where where on the ship would, would that station, like where in relation to the holodeck would the Navy so the, pilots sort of designated jumps point B. Uh, the holodeck is is definitely like probably towards uh, near the apex of the promenade. Um, so, okay, yeah, near the center of the ship. Yeah. So uh, there's definitely like in, near the fighter bays or the guardian bays. There's definitely like um, uh, buckle down kind of like travel points. Um, you know. For, for people to just kind of uh, sit down for, for extended travel and whatnot. All right, um, yeah, I, I sort of like just head out through the holodeck doors and I have my uh, my towel around my neck. I take off my boxing gloves and tie them up by the strings and hang those around my neck as well. And then I just start jogging and towards the Guardian Bay and just to, to grab my seat. The little Mac music starts to play. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, absolutely. So you, you head off. Uh, so yeah, um, you're, uh, I guess is, is everybody finding their appropriate, uh, places to sort of get buckled up for this journey? 
Yeah. Yeah, uh, I assume uh, mine uh, uh, would be near tykes. Uh, do I know it's going to be turbulent? Um, they've probably told you, like, through various memos and things, like, during the journey, like, every, all lab stuff has to be properly stowed and, um, locked away and whatnot. But do I personally know or think that it's going to be turbulent? That's up to you. You've gotten the notes, you've gotten the memos, you've been told. Did you RTFM? What? Did you RTFM? No. There's Did no you way. rid of him? No, not a chance in hell I read any memo. That's right. Right, okay. Yep. I mean, we... you, you've had various, like, supervisors, like, tell you and shit. Um, yeah. He was busy, all right? God, don't, don't bother me now. I'm busy. Yeah, totally. Uh, that's, the, that's the kind of... I'm just laser-focused on my work at all times. Okay. Yeah, so they're like, blah, 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 blah. So you're just like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So unless somebody comes and, like, pushes me... And straps me in. I won't be strapping in unless I know it's going to be crazy turbulent. That's why I'm asking. From my knowledge, give me a logic oh, check. Oh. Just a straight uh, up logic. You can add uh, engineering. Yeah. Engineering. Okay, twenty on a five d six. Um, yeah, it's the tachyon conduit. Um, is relatively new and the research was pretty rushed um it really hasn't been tested as much as it should have been um and that's probably deeply concerning for you um like it was done sort of out of necessity like the the window for completion on this uh technology was much later but it had to be it had to be uh, prioritized. So they really, they've done tests, but it's definitely not like, especially as a scientist, you would realize that's not Still enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, then I'll just uh, reverse my hover chair into the corner of the room where there's some hooks or something. <laughs> it's like <laughs> strap my chair in. Okay. Um, but probably at the last moment I have to because I'm I'm very busy. I haven't got time for this, you know. Has okay. The, have the screams stopped? They have yet? not. Um, they've gotten I, louder. I like to imagine that all the Boreans just basically disappear inside panels. They were just like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, like uh, when you when you travel on a plane. Prairie dog. It's like prairie dog. Well, you know, yeah, you know when you travel on a plane though, and the stewardess, uh, the the flight attendants rather, have um, have the fold down yeah seats. the fold down oh. seats. The yeah. Boreans like hide behind a panel, and then they've got like a little fold down yeah. seat. <laughs> yeah, it's just each Borean finds their own little bit. It's yes. just like, oh, it's your boy spot. Niche. You get your own spot over there. Oh, right, yeah, different panel. Sorry. Yeah, transfer tube D three nine is mine. Um, yeah. And, uh, sure, okay. Um, how are you handling things, uh, Simon? The screaming has just been getting, like, louder and louder. Yeah, I, uh, reach into my pocket and I pull out a little baggie. And, uh, I take a, what looks almost like a little diamond. And I put it on the table and I get, like, a, uh, something nearby, like a beaker or something, and just crush it and... <laughs> Snap it right in. You're and, very uh, quiet again. Dude, it's literally like okay. Yeah, and then I uh snap it right in and then wait for the for the the screams to stop, if they will. They don't seem to get quieter. You sort of get a bit numb. Yeah. I uh I'll I'll do my best to kind of like to like through this. Uh, like psychic rock concert blaring in my head of screams just try and get myself to I'll maybe just even crawl up onto like the medical bed and pull a strap over me okay and, like, yeah and, and I feel like I feel like if we see through your eyes everything's really shaky and um you know it's like it's like the camera is just like do doing that um, and it's it's like a fight for you to like climb up on the table. See like your hand just kind of like come over the edge, <laughs> and uh, you're just kind of like it feels like you're barely holding on. Um, 
and uh, pull the strap across, um, and you, and you hear tachyon conduit activating. Tachyon conduit activating. I just hold my head, try to keep it together. And you hear like the you hear like the uh, the the sounds uh, running through the ship like. Ding, ding. And there's this kind of like hum that starts to overtake pretty much every noise on the ship, uh, except for your screaming, Simon. Um, the uh, the ship starts to vibrate, um, and the um, the strange sensation uh, occurs from everyone. It feels kind of like um, an initial very intense G-force that's immediately canceled out, and um, this sort of like wave of nausea just shoots over you, um, and it feels like you're being just kind of... Um, it almost feels like you're being compressed and pulled apart and compressed and pulled apart. Um, and it's just kind of oscillating. The, uh... The sensation, um... Is a... Is abruptly stopped. And immediately red lights start to go off on the ship. The red alert lights have gone off. The ship is jostled violently. <laughs> Um, everyone is shaken, uh, oh, into your restraints, and, um, it's absolutely fucking brutal. Um, you definitely feel yourself, like, slammed into your restraints, uh, probably way too hard. Um, I would say that you all have, like, some bruises for sure, like, bad bruises from your restraints just holding you in place. Um... The uh, the ship is violently shaken, and alerts are going off all over the ship. Um, the uh, emergency lights have come on, and you hear like a distorted sound coming from the communicator. Um, around the ship, you can see that uh, as you sort of come back to your senses, around the ship, um, various equipment is uh, giving off the Star Trek sparks and whatnot. Um, stuff is obviously broken. Monitors are just kind of shorted out. Um, it appears that... know where they put eye explosives in every single panel. Yeah, there's uh, all kinds of malfunctions going off. Uh, various screens cracked and broken, and um, it, it's just a, it's a it's a fucking mess. Uh, you can hear that people are sort of like shouting and screaming and stuff, um, and um, the communicator is like garbling out some kind of like uh, almost indiscernible information uh, is coming through and you can hear uh, you can hear uh, a different voice you do not hear the captain you hear Commander Valest the female Venetian uh, XO the second in command basically come over the communicator um, it's extremely garbled and you just hear Stream, do the Arcadia, beer, tachyon, damage report. Captain, damage report. Uh, 
What do you guys do? Well, this is a bit of a pickle, isn't it? I, I sort of unbuckle myself and just like step out from behind the panel and just look around. Um, where are you on the ship right now? Probably sort of down in the lower levels, sort of, you know, in 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 the probably in 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 you know waste maintenance waste and maintenance you know facilities are you are you in the shit accumulator <laughs> no 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 you you did say you were like cleaning out the pipes earlier and chiseling stuff away yeah. on the pipes it's an intake not not yeah it, it, it's it, the, yeah it, it was, it's no. where it's where the poo is uh recycled towards the replicators yeah pretty much pretty much um so i'm just like looking around going, just going oh well this is a bit of a cock up isn't it oh yeah everything oh, like uh you can see there's like coolant leaks and fucking there's all kinds of chaos that's going around there's various like um components and there's probably like one of the poop shoots is broken I reach for my gaffer tape. Right, we got this then. And I will start gaffer taping a pipe. The poop pipe. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, you start to try to repair the immediate area. Uh, your comms go off again, uh, and you can hear um, Chief Engineer Van Zant uh, come across the communicator. Uh, you can hear... Uh, ship is badly damaged. I need all engineering personnel to head to main engineering immediately. We need everyone on duty immediately. Every single engineering personnel member to main engineering. Where you then? Um, yeah, so you head out. Uh, in the hallways, it's fucking chaos. Uh, there are people that are just kind of... Um, uh, running around. Gravity is sort of off and on. Um, so you're seeing like lots of uh, you're seeing like so lots of yeah, yeah. There's there's some like live wires and stuff that are uh flying around right now. Um, and you see like like sparks shooting out from the wires and. Uh, you can see, like, the automated um, fire coolant system uh, get activated in various places. There's fires that have broken out uh, across the ship as well. Um, it looks like... It looks like... You see some walls that look like they're torn apart. There's actual, like, bulkheads that have been, like, torn. Like, it looks like... Th hell. It looks like somebody took the metal and, like, shh, like, like, it was so strong that they ripped it. So the, the tears are just, like, really, um, like, rough and brutal. Like, it's, like, the shearing force was insane. Oh, we packed enough gaffer tape for that. Oh, anyway, not my problem, but my pay grade. Grr. So you uh, you head to main engineering, uh, and you can see like there's a bunch of other Boreans and stuff that are kind of running around, uh, lots of uh, Ogrons and such, um, and the uh, the chief um, chief engineer uh, Van Zan is there. You can see he's got like this gnarly like um, uh, head wound that's like been sort of like roughly taped up, um, and uh, you know. Uh, Chief Engineer Van Zant is probably like, um, he's kind of like, he's, he's like an engineering badass, you know, like, um, he's kind of, uh, he's actually like in decent shape, which is unprecedented for an engineer. Um, and, uh, you know, he's kind of like, he's probably like early fifties and, uh, bald, uh, so he's got like this, like, you can see he's got a head wound because he's just got like blood running down the side of his face. Uh, and he's got, and he's just, he's got it like taped up like real roughly. Um, and he's like, there, you, he's like, you over there, I need you on that display immediately. We need damage Woo! reports going to the captain. You, I need you. I need you to head up to the promenade immediately. We've got a bad coolant leak. I need it repaired. Now! I don't want to wait. I said now. Get there now. Why are you waiting? Fucking go! Go! 
All right, you. M what are you, maintenance? Come over here. Are... Yes, sir. Right. All right, look. I need you to... I need you to actually do some real work now. I know that's a challenge for you, but do you think you can handle it? We can handle anything. Oh, yeah. We, we like handling things. We like the big jobs I do. Yes. All right. Well, I got a real big job for you. Okay? Really? Ooh. Ooh, tell me more. I... Take take it easy. I, I need you... I need you to invest... Really? Oh, my. That's a time like this. What's her name? What's your name? Uh, Betty, sir. Look, Betty. I yes. need you to. I need you to calm it down. All right. I need you to calm it down. Sorry, I, I get a bit flustered when you know things are uh, exciting. <clears throat> all right. B Betty, was it? All right, Betty. Look, I need you to shut up. Number one. Number two. I need you to head to the Tachyon Core housing. Right. I think we might be having a breach. I need you and, uh, and at least five other members of engineering to go with you. See if you can get it. <sighs> See if you can get it locked down for now. If you have to, if you have to, do not be afraid to eject the core. Do you understand? Me? I'm sure we can fix it with a bit of gaffer tape. Don't worry. I hate Boreans. Just go. <laughs> Ryu! Noise arse! Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> um, and you trot off. Um, Simon, the screaming has stopped. How well did my uh, restraint and the single restraint in the med bed serve me? Um, left you with a horrible bruise and probably like bad scraping and shit. You probably had yeah. like, um, not like a deep cut or anything, but you probably have a cut like where it cut into your skin. Fortunately, I probably won't feel it till later. <laughs> so that's good at least. Um, but yeah, yeah the, the screaming has stopped. Um, yeah, I'll unbuckle myself. Yeah, and, like, as you do, the door, like, flies open, and you can see people being, like, uh, held up, you know, sort of being led to the to the med bay. Um, and it appears that, uh, let's see, probably uh, several, like, direct assistants to the chief medical doctor uh, start to, like, pile in with various casualties and stuff. Um, you can see there's just, like, a line of people that start, like, marching into the sick bay. Um, do you have, you have zero contacts. Um, zero. zero contacts. Okay, so, yeah, you don't know any of these people. Uh, you probably just started working on the ship. Yeah, um, totally and, uh, yeah. You, you get this kind of feeling that, um, uh... This is going to be happening for a while. The doors are basically staying open as people just keep getting, um, just keep getting, like, brought into the room. It's, it's, it's a mess. There's people with, like, bad injuries. Um, the beds start filling up quick. Um, if they know I'm a, a biopsychic or a psymed, um, I'm assuming I'll probably get assigned, like, the most serious ones for like critical like psi healing or whatever yeah absolutely uh definitely like you probably have like something on your badge that denotes that you're um like a a psi um yeah. the um one of the one of the chief uh medical doctor's assistants um we'll call her uh Kutara um she um, she kind of like walks over uh, she says you there are you are, are you able to, to heal with your mind yeah yeah. alright we need you now this one this one had oh, it's pretty bad Oh, 
um, pierced lung. I, I re reach out and touch him and just feel like how the psychic energies are flowing in him, like the latent energies. And, You're very uh, quiet just, again. Oh, I just uh, focus and f like force the energies to go around the injured part. Okay. So she says, wait, wait, let me pull out, let me, she says, let me pull out this debris. Okay, now, she pulls okay. it out like blood, like, splurts up. I do a uh, 2d6 healing with my psychic healing. Okay, make it happen. And you should have psi points that you spend when you expend healing. And biopsychic, it doesn't say. Yes, it does. Remorse. Does it? Absolutely. And the career, like, so some uh, psionic careers uh, have psychic ability, have abilities that are also exploits. Uh huh. But they, they are not labeled as costing any psi points. Uh, every psi so thing I'd costs psi points unless it's a skill. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. yeah, so, like, there are, uh, uh, exclude psionics as a whole if they wish, or change your powers associated, uh, da -da -da. certain careers gain psychic abilities with having to meet the same prerequisites, uh, yeah, you still have to spend the points. Okay. So, psychic healing, is that what you're using? Yep. So it's six psychic points health by... Uh, you can heal 1d6 per six uh, PP health by touch. Okay. It's the, so the, the skill and the biopsychic is slightly different. Okay, the, so uh, what does it say there? Career exploit. Um, so psychic healing, you can heal 1d6 one, one by touch. Any creature can only benefit once per day. If you repeat the exploit, you increase the healing to 2d6. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's just this, it's just the spending of the, of the, um, the psychic points. Okay, I'll do the 2d6 anyway. Okay, so 2d6, so you're spending oh. 12. Well, I can't do that. Then if we're doing it that way, because that would mean... Because you can only spend as many uh, as many side points as your... you have ninety. Yeah, but you can on on a turn you can only spend as many as your side score. So I could only do one d six. Ah, okay. You're still pretty quiet, by the way. The hell? I've got everything up. I don't know what I've done different. Give me a second. I'll fiddle my cable. Now you're louder. I don't know if you just had the microphone in a weird spot or what. It, at some reason, my volumes like. 99% quiet, 100% good. Whatever, Mixer. Jesus. Um, okay. So I heal this guy for four, hopefully okay. reattaching a major artery. Yeah, so the the lung just kind of like, the, the wound just kind of like closes up. You hear like... Like, uh, sort of hyperventilating. Uh, the uh, various um, machinery and stuff says uh, the condition is stable. Uh, you just kind of get led around to some more of the severe cases. Uh, but yeah, people just keep coming in, and it's just the sight of this is pretty overwhelming. Just like, oh my god. Like, the, the there's, um, there's various med stations across the ship, which is like sort of like quick healing um usually like yeah. cuts and bruises like stage yeah yeah but they're they're you know a little bit more advanced like if somebody's got a broken arm or something like it could probably like uh uh set the b broken arm uh and then call for somebody to be um to bring you to sick bay or something but um yeah this is the, the sick bay is pretty big um and it's quickly getting filled up this is very severe um, so I feel like there's probably just a moment where we see Simon just kind of like looking around, like as people just keep coming in. Um, what's going on with uh, Doctor Dick Icarus? Uh, has anyone 
asked for any emergency <laughs> sciencing? No. Um, but I would like you to roll me a straight up d6. Two of your experiments have exploded. I will let you decide which they are. A split in the <laughs> atom and uh, <laughs> the um, ship blows up. Uh, okay, so one of them, it. <laughs> I don't think I should do this. <sighs> one of them is uh. A, a neurotoxin weapon <laughs> and the other one it was um, I was trying to find a way to heat heat uh, food food temperature with uh, less energy than I put in and there are baked beans everywhere oh and a bit of neurotoxin yeah, so there's this uh, black, like, purple coating, uh, like, all over the various, like, lab equipment. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, um, you've got, like, uh, you've got, like, an emergency kind of, like, uh, wash. You know what I mean? Like, an emergency, like, washing what station. The wash? Okay. Um, up in the science labs... What- do we have like inertial dampeners or anything? How how badly were, were we hit kinetically? Um, I mean, you got jostled really bad in your in your seat for sure. Like uh, really, really bad. Yeah, because I'm pretty old. I've probably broken a collarbone or something. It was bad. It was very, yeah, very jarring. I, I'm I'm quite I'm 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 quite old and a little bit frail. Yeah, it, it was it was pretty bad. Um. You know, if you had restraints, like, on your, your chair or whatever, um, you know, they definitely, they, like, dug into your skin. Like, you got bad bruising and cuts, like, where the restraints dug in. Still better than being thrown across the lab and face first into a wall. Yeah. Um, is there anyone else in here with me? Um, yeah, there's probably, like, a few other people, I'd say. The, the, this is, like, the bio lab, um, you know. So like there's a there's a few other experiments that have like caught fire or other weird shit. You can see like the uh, other doctors that are there. Um, they're like hitting their emergency like um, uh, they probably have like an emergency like lab um, lockdown where like some gl- a partition will come down or something and like you know and and like either suck out all the air so that the uh, like a fire will go out. Or there's some kind of wash or something that comes down, depending uh, on... What are they called? Halon systems? Sure. Sounds good. Uh, aren't they, like, you know, don't they also suffocate you? Yeah. Yeah, so probably, you know, like an airplane where all the things drop down? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. See what it is. yeah. I'm just thinking server room stuff. Well, That's no, there's not necessarily... They're not necessarily inside those areas when those things happen. Um, they would probably not be near their experiments when the tachyon conduit was activated. Um, so, but they can activate their their sort of their halon systems that just kind of block off their different lab stations. Um, okay, I'll do that to mine as well. Yeah, although it's probably automated. Okay, so to yeah. And you'll see, you'll see like, uh, and there's the, the loud like sirens and stuff still going off, right? Um, uh, or just kind of like, um, the doctors are just kind of screaming like, what happened? I don't know. It felt like something rocked the ship. Hmm. I'm going to go to, uh, uh, a computer, a wall display, and see if uh, see what information is being broadcast, if any. Um. Okay. Give me. Just roll me a D two. Okay. So, uh, you have partial visual. Uh, the 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 
the video is is bro broadcasting um, uh, on the display, and you can see like um, em like emergency, emergency, uh, tachyon conduit, uh, tachyon conduit uh, error, tachyon conduit error, uh, and basically you're getting like all these different like damage um, things like start to crop up all across the ship. Uh, the uh, commander is sort of like on repeat saying um, Captain Pannell has been seriously wounded. Captain Pannell has been seriously wounded. Everyone, please remain calm. Everything is under control. I need all military personnel to report to their nearest officers immediately. All military personnel to report to their nearest officers immediately. Everyone else aboard the ship, all civilians, civilians, please seek out your representatives immediately. Please seek out your representatives immediately. Okay, I don't care about this propaganda. Um, I want to see if I can pull up uh, damage reports or anything like that on the ship, or specifically on the Tachyon generator drive things. Okay. Go ahead and give me a, uh, a logic plus computers. Uh, I am old, so this will be a careful roll. Okay, and what does that do? That means that if I roll a one, I can re-roll any, any ones, but only once. Because he's old. <laughs> 22. 22. Very nice. Um, yeah, so you start, um, checking through, and the damage reports are normally, like, uh, they're normally, like, locked, like, they, they hide this information, uh, but basically you straight up just saw, uh, somebody enter their, their, uh, code, or you heard their, like, voice-activated code, um, and you just, you mimicked it, and it just kind of, um... You, you just kind of like uh, went past it. It was probably like a low-ranking officer or something. Um, and you you can see that the ship has taken heavy damage. The Tachyon conduit drive is down, and there are major problems with the Tachyon core. Uh, it is currently under, um, uh, under a severe warning with a possible breach. Uh, it's volatile. Yes. Can I, from here, um, initiate the the procedure to eject the core? Definitely not. Definitely not. Where would I need to be engineering? Engineering or outside the core? Uh, I'm gonna. Can I pull up the schematics of the ship? Um, is is the way through to engineering? I, I assume we have like hyperlifts or something. There's to get turbo from lifts throughout the ship. Okay. Uh, throughout the ship, yes. There's like ten turbo lifts um, at various locations in the ship. Figure uh, like it's... there's there's like there's probably like two for each like major section there. Is there a path? Is it like can I? You get can't tell to if it? it's blocked. You can't. You have no no way of knowing. Uh, well, we need to eject the core, obviously, because it's going to explode and kill everyone. Okay, um, where are we? Can I find that out? Um, like, did did we did did we move? Are we still in Seoul? You cannot tell. Uh, basically, you don't have access to the sensor logs. The damage reports one thing. The sensor logs no. Okay. Um, navigation would all be done from command, right? Yeah. Uh, can I get through to anyone on command? You're just trying to calm somebody? Who are you trying to communicate with? Uh, am I allowed to use a rep here? If you want to declare, declare contact here? Yeah, maybe sure. someone in navigation or, or you know, the, the piloting part. Maybe like an ensign or something. Okay. I mean, there is ensign prowler. 
uh, what does Ensign Prowler? Ensign Prowler is basically helm, helm control for the ship. He's like the the main pilot. Oh yeah, if I can. Okay. Uh, so yeah, um, you try to reach Ensign Prowler. Um, immediately you are, you're given like a, a tone with your communicator, like a. And you can see, the, basically, that's the tone to that that's indicating that, um, uh, without like uh, command authorization, you're not able to reach uh, any um, any uh, officers on the command deck because there's an emergency situation. Okay. Um, is that is that like protocol? Yeah. Um, okay, then, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and see if I can make my way to sick bay because, like, I'm in a lot of pain. Okay. I don't know if I can get to the end of the ship, which is a long way away. I'm a lot closer to the sick bay, so I'm gonna make my way to sick bay. That one hurt. So you you like open the door. There's like coolant like spraying down from the ceiling, like, and uh, fires like rampaging through the hallway and shit. Uh, the the automatic uh, fire suppression stuff has uh, started to activate, and you can see like the uh, fires are being sprayed and stuff. Um, people are running past in the hallway. Um, and give me a perception check. A three on a two d six. There's a peachy roll. Okay. Uh, yeah, you don't notice anything. It's all good. Everything's fine. You're muted. So everything seems fine. Uh, I'm gonna go to sick bay. Absolutely. You turn the corner um, and uh, you just see chaos like through the hallways. Uh, there's. There's uh, engineers that are trying to repair like leaks and stuff like that, and it's brutal. You start to uh, make your way through the ship, and um, I think this is where we're going to take our next break. Let's take our break here. Let's take our next break here. We'll be right back, everybody, in five minutes. Stay tuned for some more Turner Warped Season 2, Episode number 1. We'll be right back as the Arcadia starts to crumble down all around the players. We'll be right back, everybody. 